Hi everyone, welcome back to L Games. We have back with another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. In the end of the last episode, we put Bo and Penelope on a train. Um, can't remember. Oh, they were going to Boston, I believe. Um, so I assume that's the last we see of them. We did grab Penelope's bracelet. Um, but yeah, I'm not really sure what else there is to say, so let's just go. Oh, in Annisburg, Arthur Londonbury, so that's another debt mission, I think. And Micah is also in Annisburg. I'm sure he's causing a lot of trouble. <laughs> but I reckon we maybe go see the mayor. Um, my hat is gone again. Uh, I guess we'll just have to wear Arthur's hat. Um, we want to go this way. Why do you have your gun out? Put it away. Hi. So what brings hey, you to these parts? Hi. Can I pat him? Well, I'm glad of the company, if I'm honest. The past six months or so, I ain't been around many people. Regular folks, at least. Ain't sure if you heard of a group called the Shalonians? <laughs> I guess you could call it a religion. Obsessed with I forgot the about the Shalonians. should have struck me stranger sooner. Hi. I know. You wouldn't believe it. I always say I'm too trusty. I mean, I don't know you from Adam, and here you are sitting at my fire. Anyway, I'm more or less handing my life over to them. I met a very persuasive fella in San Denis. Anders, his name was. Hi, puppy. And he caught me at a bad time. Puppy. Hell of a thing, right? <laughs> oh my god, it's so cute. I bet I I've been given over to some poor living, real poor living, kind of behavior the devil himself would be ashamed of. Okay. They promised me safety, salvation, paradise, all you very okay, appealing boy? to a fellow like me. Got to the point where I'd given them every cent I had, and I was ready to fall them off a cliff. Okay. I just got out in time. Maybe it was the turtles, or maybe it was just I didn't have the spine to go through with it. All seems ridiculous now, looking back. The things we'll do for answers, huh? <laughs> This guy is very chatty. Anyway, sorry to ramble on. I should get back to it. Okay, bye. See ya. Um, the fuck? You aren't my horse. Bye, doggy. <laughs> that dog is real friendly. Can you go up here? Yeah. That was weird. <laughs> I love. What's that noise? I love when you just go through the random campfires and they just ramble on and on and on. They tell you the whole bloody life story. It's this little house. What's this? Stranger mission? Can I huh? go five minutes without a fan badgering me? Hey. Oh, oh. God. A fan? Who are you? <sighs> Hello, chum. fish or fish? Chum? Do you want an autograph or a photograph? I'm sorry. People often get nervous, <laughs> but there's really no need to. I, I'm just a, just a normal guy who, well, happens to be very famous. Okay. <laughs> very Lord. humble. Jeremy Gill. Oh, he's the guy from the newspapers. Who? The famous fisherman. Yeah. I read a lot of books. I'm in the newspaper all the time. Here's I've one read. from the New Hanover Gazette from a few years back. And this is a book I wrote. Huh? I wrote it. <laughs> Good for you. Okay. All right, relax. I don't know who I am? No. Ah. Oh, well. Arthur doesn't remember. Nice to meet you. You too. I do Arthur. remember. Sure you don't want a photo? Uh, not right now. Oh. You know, mothers, they often offer me their daughters. Just Here. for a photograph? <laughs> no. 
to marry. But I say no. <laughs> I'm married to the fish. Oh. So you're to famous say. for fishing? Very. And that pays well? Uh, pretty well. What I mostly do is send fans stuffed fish. Stuffed fish? Yeah. Here, uh, let me show you. Come with me. <laughs> and you're selling these? Yes. How many do you want? If you get three, we could do a photograph. Together, like actual friends. No, I'm fine. It's it's sort of ridiculous. Listen, jump. People love it. And I could sell even more fish. <laughs> this is <I> very <laughs> random. <laughs> it helps them to know that out there, there's some man fighting with Neptune on a daily basis and winning. Okay. I can't catch enough of them. Uh, really this is one of those this. missions where you can like bring Absolutely. stuff back to him. Do. Well, in well, that case, that good at fishing. <laughs> uh, of course, uh, not if they're too rotten. Do you like that bass? I'd sell this for fifty dollars. I'd give you fifteen. Send you fish. Ooh, my card and a map. Well, maybe a shell. <laughs> Only the decent ones. <laughs> they have to be at least twenty-four inches in length and ten pounds in weight. No one wants to imagine Jeremy Gill catching a tiddler. There's no money in tiddlers. So I hear. All right. Well, highly doubt we're gonna do that. At least not during this playthrough. <laughs> There's sort of no incentive. Like obviously you get money, but we have so much money from treasure hunts that it's kind of not an incentive to uh. Do it, you know. Other than it being kind of relaxing. Interesting. Jeremy Gill. This world is just so interconnected. It's so cool. Like I wouldn't assume that you know, we get to meet Jeremy Gill at some point after reading his stuff in the newspaper, but. You do. It's pretty cool. Whoa. Am I across here? Yeah. There is a... Nothing? Superior livestock. Oh, here's the... Me a little something there. No. This is my horse. Get out. Who's this? You got the Easy wrong now. feller. I ain't political. If you wasn't political, you wouldn't be no federal tax collector. I ain't federal. It's a state poll tax. <gasps> Time for the captain. Uh-oh. What's going on? Uh, ah! Why am I... up a little bit there but I will cut cut free <laughs> I saw one of my PS5 You're controllers is a bit dodgy you have no idea how thankful I, I need to like put a sticker on it or something so I know which one it is <laughs> I know I think they hid my things in one of those boxes sir they're yours not just be a hero me <laughs> Very true. Good luck to you. Let's take all the super visions. Whoa. What is this? First aid. Medical box. Take it all. Yeah. Okay. Um What's that? A hat? Why is 
is this hat lighting up and I can't pick it up? Weird. Uh, loot. The Lemoyne Raiders, hey? Scumbags. Scumbags. Where did he say his box of stuff was? Here? The trunk? Yeah. Chest. The chest. <laughs> uh, no, I guess not. Something in there. Maybe that box? Corn oil, we already have. Fine brandy, we'll take it. Oh, stuck on something. Uh, there's a box under here. Lock box, here we go. Here's the goods. No? That's it? Cocaine gum? What? The hell? Well, you guys had fuck all. <laughs> Premium cigarettes and... really good for his lungs now that he has TB but I want to pick them up so we can get the card. <laughs> Laura of America. Very good. Um, something we haven't... Okay, we didn't really get much from there. Oh well. There's my horse. Oh great, there's a snake. <laughs> I guess it's fine. <laughs> Angus, relax. <laughs> okay, let's just um go this way. <laughs> Come on, Angus. <laughs> Angus, jump over the fence. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> the fuck's wrong with him? Do we need to kill it? Where is it? Where is it? How is it? Ah. No. I can hear it. Angus, please. trees. <laughs> Angus. Angus. Where is it? There it is. Look, you can relax. Angus. Okay. It's getting a bit ridiculous now, Angus. <laughs> Calm down. Jeez. <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> he was losing it. Alright, let's go. This game is so weird. <laughs> Weird, but good. Excuse me. There he is, mate. Bastards. Oh. 
this way. Um, let's just eat this. We have quite a lot of meat we need to get through. Sorry, I know I'm on your property. I'm going. <laughs> I didn't mean to. Are we anywhere near? Creepy houses. It's there. It's across the bridge, I know that much. We haven't been there in a while. Although, I'm not sure if you have to go at night. I can't remember. I can't remember. What a dead or alive. shade to Angus but he's been kind of a little bitch this episode. <laughs> We've been through here a million times Angus. Come on. Oh I don't know what that was. It just hadn't rendered in properly. It was a bird. <laughs> go find um, I don't know if it's available yet though the big crocodile I know it said oh there he is I know it said it became available okay, in chapter 6 which is what we're in now um, but I don't know if it's like after a particular mission uh, okay uh, so I think we have to we can only see Hannah and Lamar at night, so we kind of yep. missed that. <laughs> what the hell are all those pigs screaming about? very weird at night, I must say. <laughs> okay. Let's go see the mayor. See what, he's the mayor, right? Pretty sure. Pretty sure he is. Ah. We're back in a 
minute, Angus. Did we go through the back? I don't know. I saw he told, always told us to meet him at the back, but I can't really remember. Can we get in this way? Nope. <laughs> I wouldn't kick the door. <laughs> I think we're meant to be being sneaky, but whatever. Mr. Lambo. Let me in. Oh, I got his letter. <laughs> uh, Mr. Arthur. Sir? Education is the most wonderful thing. It'll raise us higher and higher. Make civics and ethics less a work of a dirty minded pragmatist like me. And the calling of higher, better men. Hear, hear. Without it, we are savages. But with learning, <laughs> why, in 50 years, a man will put down his guns and start living a life of relentless purity. Hear, hear. <laughs> well, but the rich <laughs> not exactly. And be so very self absorbed. How can I help? You can't. We need all our strengths. <laughs> That's the point. We've gone over this. Violence. This is guy never hates right. us, Jean Marc. I agree with you. But it's not violence. It's the mere threat of violence. Against whom? Oh. <laughs> whom? <laughs> Against Hector Fellow's worst nature. To convince him Hector Fellow. to make good on his promise to help finance the library. Who is he and where do I find him? He's a newspaper man. And he's He's so leaving town on a coach, heading to his country estate, because he doesn't like your heavy handed approach. Well, you huh. certainly won't like my heavy-handed approach. Thank you, Mr. Arthur. I like that we never actually get You'll spot him on the road <laughs> where the they are. He has a red coach. Like, so we on a road through the bayou? That could be anywhere. Day. All right, Sean Mark, I don't really know what your role is here, but I'm just doing my job. Go to Sundany exit near the bayou. You got it. I get paid for this. I can't really remember. I better go, 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 go. Let's go, boy. Complete stop. Let's go, boy. Oh, that one. Go, go, go. Come on, Angus. The horses go too slow in the city limits. Stop the coach! Who the heck are you? Just gonna talk to your passenger a moment. I like that he stopped the coach, like, instantly. Enter. Okay. How? This side? Um. Oh, sorry. <laughs> You can enter the coach by riding alongside at a similar speed and jumping into it. But he stopped. Can I? Hi. Um. Hey, boy. I mean, he stopped though. There's another glitch. Come on. Open the door, Arthur. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Why does it give you the option of telling him to stop? If you can't then get in. Jesus. Okay. Unhelpful. Um, how do I 
I start it? Come on, pal. Maybe if I leave, will it continue? Start the checkpoint. Hmm. Do I need to rest, maybe? Can I rest? I can't, um. set up camp, we come back, maybe he's there again? Jeez, this episode is not going so smoothly. Uh, <laughs> to be honest. Okay then. Is this the wilderness? No, it's still not the wilderness. Yeah. We cannot set up camp right now. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I'm thinking I need to like go do something else. Because I have literally no idea, but I can't go do anything else. I'm like stuck in a... Maybe I need to die? Uh, what, yep. what would kill me? What would kill me but not kill my horse? <laughs> I was just going to run up on the train and then I... Are you okay? <laughs> I need to, to like die. How do I die? It's like cliffs around here. Yeah. Should I swim in the water? <laughs> Honestly, guys, this episode is not going smoothly so far. Whoa. Can I just drown? <laughs> Bye Angus, I'll be uh, back in a minute. I need to drown. Alright. Can I go underwater? No. Uh, this probably actually wasn't the most efficient way of dying. I probably should have just like started a fight with someone. <laughs> Come on. See how far we can get, hey. Uh oh. We're beginning to drown. Come on, Arthur, you can do it. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Die, die, die. Oh, look at his health go down. He's exhausted. He's simply exhausted. Where's Angus? He didn't go that far. But I guess he's got TB. I should probably be <laughs> a little more empathetic. Oh no! Oh, this is quite, this is quite brutal. <laughs> Sorry, there was a glitch. Oh, retry checkpoint or restart mission? Maybe let's be safe and restart the mission because I feel I don't know if the checkpoint is just gonna put us like right next to the bloody coach again. don't understand this fucking... It's not letting me jump onto it though. Is this just like a known glitch or something? It won't let me 
fucking jump. Is it because we're in the city? Do I have to wait until you guys are there? That's so stupid. <laughs> Okay, go on then. Idiot. Sorry guys, this is so anticlimactic. Oh my god. Oh, a bull. And cows. Idiot. Okay, is he outside of the city yet? Can you not jump on a coach inside the city? He won't let me jump. Move it. Stop the coach! Who the heck are you? Only right there. You're getting an extra passenger. Okay. That was different dialogue. Let me. <laughs> what the hell is happening? What am I doing wrong here? Can I. I can't even... I can't kill them. I can't do anything. Can one of you kill me, please? Do you guys have guns? No. Sorry. <laughs> Does anyone here have a gun and can kill me, please? Because I can't... <laughs> I'm stuck again. <laughs> Where's the law? Hello? I'm shooting my gun in the city. Oh shit, I'm wanted dead or alive. Is this gonna really fuck with my game? Guys, how do I die in this game? <laughs> Where's all the police officers? Someone kill me. Ugh. Oh my god, this is so annoying. <laughs> this is like kind of a excuse me you're a police officer why why did you not p do anything go on now go on you get him get him <laughs> someone can do something shoot me you're a police officer Pathetic, my friend. Shoot me. Shoot me. It's best if you left. Now get. Why don't you go hash with some real criminals? Come on. <laughs> Kill me. Hey there, Aaron boy. Can I? Someone kill me. Usually you do that in Sundany, you like immediately descended on my cops. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Horse. Horsey. I am... Angus? What are you doing in there? What are you doing in there, Angus? Jump. Are you serious? <laughs> I haven't saved since I started playing. I don't want to just reload my save from last episode. Alright. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Arthur. <laughs> oh my god. Cancel mission. Fuck that mission. <laughs> a glitch for sure like a bad one that's really bad I'm filming for 50 minutes that's <laughs> so bad yeah we are not going back in there fuck that mission off absolutely not um 
Where's a coach? Let's get a coach to Annisburg. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Okay. What was that? It was a very small, tiny little pole. Of course I hit the one thing that was there to hit. Fantastic. <laughs> wow, this is <laughs> putting me in a really bad mood. I just want to play the game, guys. That's all I want is to play the game. And I'm being... It's being ruined at every turn. Okay. Take a ride to... Annisburg. <sighs> Finally. We're literally only going to have time to do the Micah mission. And probably the, and we can do the debt mission. <laughs> Henley and Lamo will have to wait until I can be bothered trying that again. Alright. Let me off. Well, here we are. And my Thank ass you. isn't too flattened either. Thanks, mister. You help me out. Find Arthur London Derry. I was calling him London Berry. Someone over right here. There. You got any business at the mine? Now I'm looking for an Arthur London Derry. I was told he works here. London Derry? Oh, you'll want to speak to the foreman. He's down in the pit. Well, in this way? damn way! Is he under the ground? In the pit? Okay. Wow. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Sorry, messed up your workplace. I'm sorry. Arthur London there. Here? I'm sorry, fellas, but you're too late. Arthur's dead. <laughs> the man's dead. What's wrong with you? Oh, boy. You can't exactly beat it out of him now, can you? <laughs> you Terrible might get foreman. something off his widow just Doesn't care about health and safety creek, at all. But I'd hurry. You ain't gonna be the only one a-knocking. <laughs> you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Hey. I ain't the godforsaken money lender. Okay, to be fair, neither are we, technically. We're just the bodyguard. <laughs> How do I get out of here? Um. So, how do I get up over... I... Okay. I literally don't know how to get up and out of here. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Well, that was unsuccessful. Let's go see Micah and then we'll do that mission <laughs> later on. <laughs> We're really getting absolutely nothing done today. Ah, well. <laughs> Sometimes this game is just pure chaos. There's nothing you can do about it. You just have to go with the flow. Alright, what does this son of a bitch want? some guns on because he's probably going to get us into trouble, I would say. He actually can't go anywhere without being in trouble, Micah, so I expect to shoot out. Oh, look at that, he's in the sheriff's office already. Perfect. What's this? Oh, we can't read it. Is he in here? Excuse me. Dude, what are you doing on the bed? Weird place to be. <laughs> okay, he's not in here. He must be down in the alleyway. Uh, we're in 
Mama's house? Micah. <laughs> Jesus was Christ. You followed? No, was you followed? I said I hate him. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> what is your problem? I hate what him. Is so your much. problem, partner? You don't uh you don't look so good. What is wrong with you? Nothing wrong with me. I'm fit as a fiddle. And not inside you ain't. I'm just a realist, friend. Micah reckons there's a rat. Oh, yeah, and it's Micah. He. On what evidence? He's only back a minute. Yeah, the, it's the fact that he's a rat. Up. And he's trying to cover We've himself. We've been on the run since you two fools went crazy in Blackwater. We barely escaped with our lives in San Denis. Now we got a rat. Well, Molly clearly talked, but who else? Maybe Micah. we pushed things too far. <laughs> Maybe. I can't wait to be vindicated like and that packed. he's actually a bad guy. We don't so obvious. We got sloppier than the town drunk. And they know who we are, and where we are, and what we're doing. The way I see it, the best thing we can do is let the week go. Move on, get our money, and start over. That ain't happening. Well, something's gotta happen. Who are the weak? Otherwise, Cornwall, I guess probably Abby, Abby Tans, Abigail. They've got us panned in here. And Jack. And ain't none <laughs> they of don't really stopping. do much. Well, Cornwall's why we're here. Shall we, Dutch? Yeah, it's time to go. Let's head to the river. Oh, leave Cornwall alone. He ain't. <laughs> we need money. But revenge? Now? Of course yes. it's for money. Come on, Arthur. This better not be no stupid revenge mission, Dutch. It ain't worth it. Don't be ridiculous. Oh, Arthur. It's just a simple social call. <laughs> Ew, they're like two peas in a pod now, Micah and Dutch. I hate it. So Why are they getting along so well? I feel like Dutch is spiraling, and Mike is the only one that's like, he's such a yes man. You know what I mean? And then it makes Dutch, it like inflates Dutch's ego and makes him feel good, and that's why he's keeping Mike really close. Because Mike actually won't tell him to get his shit together the way Arthur does. These are wrong. Why does Cornwall. We're wanted men. So oh, yeah, I mean, John that wife. actually does look really I bad. I didn't want him hanged. Neither did I. We're going to cut a deal, Arthur. What are you talking about? We want out, and Cornwall wants us to stop robbing him, and we all know his money is what's keeping the Pinkertons on our tail. He's America, Arthur, and I want out, and he, he won't let us go. Why would he? Say making a lot of sense, Dutch. It will. No, it's some. not. Why would it he give us a deal? A deal. What's some noise, and then we're gone. Like he would, may as well just kill us. Oh God. Cornwall's boat is due in soon. Let's get down here. Behind oh, he doesn't the actually know we're meeting him. Okay, it's not actually a meeting. This crate? So we're gonna sneak onto his ship, harass him, and then ask for his help? Where's the logic? I want to thank you for your hospitality, Mr. Cornwall. This was a business meeting, Mr. Milton. We are not friends. I have spent a and considerable like, why would fortune Milton with your and agency shoot us on sight. and still nothing. This Vanderlyn robs me and laughs at me. I asked for the best. I paid for the best. We are very close, Mr. Cornwall. I know you've heard this before. Can't, sir. Send a telegram to Goldberg in New York. Tell him I won't borrow it more than 3.2%. Sorry, no, I have heard it before. And get that army man to pay his portage charge. Yes, sir. We are doing all we can within the confines of the law. The law? I think we both know what you can do with your law. Find me Dutch <laughs> Vanderlyn. Bring him here and leave the laws to them as need them. Good day, sir. Come along, Mr. Ross. We have work to do. Mr. Didsbury. Mr. Cornwall. Now listen up, Didsbury. What's all this about strikes? I bought into Didsbury. this mine because of mismanagement, and I intend to make it a success no matter what the cost. It's the wages. Folk feel Folk that you... feel? Business doesn't give 
two figs about feelings, sir, not two Damn, this figs. guy is it's an asshole, though, to be fair. Bring a plague on both our houses, sir. Perhaps there is a plague on your house already, Mr. Cornwall. What do you want, sir? I'm not Improvising? quite sure just yet. Your impudence will be your undoing, sir. I'm undone already. Even my best friend here, he thinks I'm crazy. And like this poor fellow best friend. you're talking to, my feelings are hurt. You robbed me, that's sir, cute. and you robbed him. Funny world. You show a criminal's grasp of sophistry, sir. I did no such thing. You kill. I kill. You rob. I rob. Only difference I can see is I choose whom I kill and rob, and you destroy everything in your path. I've He's just doing just this, this to feel righteous enough. about himself, tell you what, but it's obviously you not going to end this well. Ship, Ten thousand dollars and safe passage out of here. I'll let you live. <laughs> I'll do no such thing. <laughs> you sure? Good. I prefer it this way. You lost your land. Noise, Arthur. Noise. Oh. Sorry. I'm here. What? Where are you? What? Where is he? In here?
shoot what? What did he say? Is that what he meant? Is that what he wanted me to do? Shotgun went. I swear I equipped it, but no, must have. That we got. Okay. Interesting social Kinda. call. No, oh, don't play dumb and superior at the same time, Morgan. We all knew sooner or later <laughs> Cornwall had to go. Let me see them papers. It's more attention we don't need. Feels like the whole world's closing in on us. Dutch. It won't be long before mm -hmm. they find where we're hiding out now. Especially as we ain't exactly hiding out. We just need a distraction. Buy us some time. It looks like Mr. Cornwall's company has signed a railroad contract with the army. And they're also moving dynamite down from, well, the Annisburg mines to San Denis to resell. Uh, and there's bonds How at his oil help? factory. Maybe there's a way to get them off our back and get the money that we need. Mike, you look into this dynamite. Take Bill, I guess, Arthur. You go too. We are gonna need a lot of it. And Mike, we need to talk. Figure out some things. Of course, boss. Figure out what? The plan. Getting out of here. Nothing's changed. It hasn't, huh? There's an old house west of Van Horn. Meet me there when you can, Black Lung. Let's split up. We'll meet up back at camp. Yeah. Black Lung. So Micah is. Dutch is second in command now. That's so weird. And I don't like it. <gasps> There's Angus. Hi. Hello, pretty boy. Oh my 
gosh, this is just, it's just not going to end well, you know. on the map. Gavin Swanson? Rage Unleashed. Okay. And then that's where Mrs. Londonbury is and then Mike is down there. Okay. Very good. Hamish Sinclair? Oh, the veteran! Uh, for fishing. Cute. Alright, I guess let's go see about this um, Mrs. Londonberry. She lives in Butcher Creek though, which doesn't bode well. I don't know why anyone would want to live there. <laughs> it's full of those bloody inbreds. Yeah. I feel like Dutch is keeping secrets from us now, and like he's made Micah his. Number two. I mean, maybe while we're in the camp, you know, freshen up a little bit. Reverend, I'll come back and see you later. Shave. Have a little bit of a shorter beard, hey? Um, geez, 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 what am I stuck on? Chair. <laughs> kind of hat. Military scout hat? It's green. A bit better. Um, hmm. Who is making all that noise? Being a weirdo. Where's the food? Like, where is the stew supposed to be in this camp? I feel like I can never see it. This is the food, but where's the pot? Pot of food. Really? Ah, it's here. Let's eat. We need to fatten him up. He's looking pretty, pretty skinny. Why can't I eat? Okay, well that's rude. <laughs> Really, nothing is a uh, nothing is working for me today, guys. <laughs> um, whatever, let's just go. I'm sure we have to uh, save this widower. That's kind of the message I got from the foreman, who said like, "What did he say? We won't be the only people come and knocking." Which I think he meant in a creepy way, but I'm assuming she's going to be, like, mugged. Okay. Lancaster. Shotgun. Let's go. Yep. Hell of an episode. <laughs> Oh, 
you eating out here? Oh. Did you eat some poison berries oh, or something? You. Reckon I was done for that's not good. Oh. 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 That, that health cure is amazing. <laughs> my guts like a freight train. Oh. Oh. Okay. It's that little one over there with the pink flowers. I'd stay well clear of that if I was you. Yeah, what is I think it? you've sold me on that plan. Tell me about it. Okay, well I got some. Use it in crafting to apply poison to weapons like throwing knives and arrows. Cool. I like that it yep. still gives you the option to eat it and I guess you just get sick. <laughs> Very funny. Although I actually knew Oleander was poisonous. Because there's a movie about it. The white Oleander. <laughs> Alright, lady, are you okay? Got a lot of guns, yep. Yeah. Hi miss. You wanna pack all your stuff, Angel? <clears throat> I miss his London oh, Derek. A little kid. <laughs> Off his dead. I know. Uh, I'm sorry for it. It's just we lent Arthur some money, you see, and so it was you. She's so pretty. What do you want now? You want I my always get blamed shoes. for everything. You want the food out of our bellies? What little there is? You want me to lie down for you? No, no. I... Arthur gave everything to pay your bills. Everything. It's interesting that they gave this debt machine the same name. And now some fellas are coming to take the house. There ain't nothing left, <sighs> Mister. I don't like doing these either. I uh, just. Wanted to say I'm gonna absolve all the debts. <laughs> to, um, here, take this. It won't bring your husband back, I know. You need money and I don't. Well, you're a good man. I just wish you'd Thank done you. it before he worked himself into the grave. Sorry, little fella. But you know, <laughs> maybe you and your friend that lent him the money could do things differently. Like not threaten a man. Excuse me. I'm sorry, ma'am. I really am. Oh, <laughs> you bet we're gonna confront him. Let's go. Angus, where are you, my darling? My sweet boy. Let's start some shit with everyone in the camp. He was being an asshole. Come on now, boy. Let's go. Making us do this. If he wants to... Uh, should we have gone up here? If he wants to lend out this money, he shouldn't be asking us to go and get it for him. Like, I get we're supposed to be the muscle, but we clearly hate it, and it's not fair. Business is not. It can't possibly make enough money to, you know, be worth it. <laughs> How much money are they really getting back from people? Interest on debts. It can't be a lot. And also, the debt mission is what started all of this, and it was what got us sick. Front. Throw his little uh, book. How did you get on, Mr. Morgan? Just not good. Mm. Just get up. What? Punch him. Get up. What? 
What is wrong? Nothing's wrong. Nothing at all. What are you doing? Something I should have done a long time ago. Get your bag. Is this it? I don't understand. I ain't gonna oh, kick him out. Well, I probably should. You disgust me. And you shame us. If we could be shamed any more than we already are, that should do. Go! I don't understand you. What are you doing? Go and get a job. <laughs> you know, get a job. Get a real say job. They sick to loot themselves. I was your friend. You and me, we ain't decent. I mean, it's true. We. But those folk. We were friends. They was. I do feel kind of bad. Oh, yeah. Take that. Take that and get lost. Like we are. A... I don't really want to kick him out. I thought we were just going to yell I at him. Leave. <laughs> like he doesn't know anyone else. Oh. <laughs> Not gonna lie, that does make me feel a little guilty. You okay? What is happening to us? Just make this place work, Pearson. I don't know, man. It's all falling to shit. <laughs> okay, so that's Strauss. I think... I can't really tell from that photo, but it might be... the Native American people? Kind of looks like one of them has quite long hair. And then another mica. Delights of Van Horn. Steal the wagon of explosives from an army convoy en route. Uh. Mm, okay, let's talk, let's talk to Swanson. I guess just down it all. Dutch went and killed Hi. Cornwall and Annisburg. This'll be bad, John. Shit. Yeah. I'm worried he's coming unstuck. Oh, he's unstuck. He's been unstuck for a while. Hello. You okay, Jack? Is Mr. Strauss <laughs> Yeah. You three are the only yeah, people I care lady. about. Dark. Well, and Charles, of course, and Javier. Don't you give me that look. So just like that, Strauss is gone? For his own good. This is done, Abigail. Is Dutch not going to be kind of mad that we kicked out one of his family? <coughs> really? Like, he's the boss, technically, you so okay? wouldn't Mr. he want to reserve the right to do that? I don't know, Reverend. These are challenging times for all of us. Yes. Swanson's kind of uh, you fixed himself up, cleaned up his somehow. act. I've always, f I've left the morphine, sir. Oh, I'm in Reverend Swanson, would you excuse us a minute? Of course. Uh, he was trying to talk New to York. us. We are gonna go to New York. Now they have been chasing us south and east and west. We're gonna get a boat, we're gonna get on a river, and we're gonna go north. New York. Then Tahiti, the mm. Fiji Islands, or this place, New Guinea, dancing girls, freedom. But first we have to make a whole lot of smoke, a whole lot of commotion. And then we disappear. We need more commotion? One score and one whole hell of a lot of noise. We ain't so good at doing scores anymore, Dutch. Are you feeling all right, Arthur? Sure, I'm fine. Me for Clearly not. Oh. Brought a friend, Arthur. Hello. Hello. Dutch. Hello. This is Eagle, Eagle Flies. Flies. His father is a great chief. I thought Charles it looked like him in the picture. It's hard to tell. Pretended to be mercenaries. Did me a great favor. Dutch Vanderland. How do you do? His well, kept up. <laughs> well, I am sorry to hear that. How's your father? Father is confused. Wisdom with weakness. His people, my people. We've suffered too much. Been lied to too much. Now they've taken our horses. Who? The infantry mm -hmm. division posted at Fort Wallace. Why? Colonel Favors is a liar and a murderer. His people won't stop until we're all dead. Without horses, we cannot hunt. Without hunting, we will starve. This is another act of war. I see that. Men have helped me before, and I have money. Put your money away, son. What do you think, Charles? 
You know, I told your father I will not fight over some horses. But I made more than that, no though, such it? promise. Come along. Arthur's like, yeah. I don't have the strength. Arthur, we must go with them <laughs> to try to stop things from getting out of hand. I guess. That's Come never on. really worked for us before, but. We okay. can get the more horses. I know. I understand Eagle Flies is angry, but I don't see how this will help anything. Especially not with Dutch whipping them up into a frenzy. Got enough folks coming after us without adding army to the list. Dutch is good at that. You going to let these bastards Actually. walk all over you? No, you're not. This is all that's wrong with this world. Dutch is so obsessed okay, with like now, righteousness, now, you know. Away. It's it's the weird. A boat near Van Horn. For a person a who is not righteous. <laughs> Surely this can be done without killing anyone. Of course. What will be will be. Anyway, son, tell me about this Colonel Favors. He's a vile man. He and his regiment take the pleasure of persecuting us. All the young have been taken from our reservation, shipped off to reform schools. Many women, too. The old are weak and sick, but they deliberately withhold medicine and supplies from us. This ends today. You have my word on that. I highly doubt it ends today. Oh, hello, Fox. <laughs> Why are you getting involved in this, Dutch? You know me. We shoot fellers as need shooting. We save fellers as need saving. Feed them as need feeding. Not this again. It's been quite a while since <laughs> we helped anyone but ourselves. And even you know that. I told you, yep. noise. We need noise, Arthur. Noise and faith. I still don't know what that means. Stop questioning and think. Just think for a second. The Pinkertons have had time to reinforce. The civilized world is closing on us. Who knows what else Molly told them? I don't get why we didn't we just leave and try to make money somewhere else. Now. We could just pack up and be on the road and do jobs on the road, right? Until we get to where we need to go. Between the army and the Indians might be just the distraction we need. Kill two birds. So this is selfish, basically. He's willing to sacrifice Eagle Fly's people if it helps his agenda. The government is far more likely to divert them to other issues, especially if there's one more scandal. We can slip away. Like I said, we just need that noise and one more score. You know, I went back for the chest I had hidden outside Shady Bell, and we're close, Arthur. Mm -hmm. That dynamite, the railroad contract with the army, it was all in those papers Micah found. I have a plan. You just have to trust me. A convoluted plan. Oh, careful. There's Peta. These men, like I said, they'll help us. Peta. I got the canoes. The boat is still moored in the channel. Good. Come on, let's go. Death I think the best plan is to paddle up there silently, border. Then when we got control, we'll deal with that anchor, float away. <laughs> we'll be ashore before anybody even knows what happened. Hmm. Okay. Good luck. Why is no one else helping? Why am I always the one doing everything? Is that, is that, 
What's happening? I'm trying! There you go. <laughs> Try not to kill anyone, Arthur. Okay. his neck up a little bit. I'm gonna go smoke, all right? Be back in a bit. Oh, no, not again. And had a sniff of a good head all night. I'll be retiring in the morning at this rate. <laughs> Just the deal, lawyer. Okay. What are we meant to do here? The horse is gonna like this. Confused. We need to round them up. I'll get these four, Arthur. Can you go after the others? Okay. Yes. Ah, yeah. it's okay. Over here. Come on. Come on. Everything's okay. Little horses. Want a carrot? Give him a carrot. <laughs> oh. Like this horse is gonna die. Exhausted. Well, I guess that sort of went well. Oh, seems well, like you, right? Uncle Sam likes you fellas even less than he likes us. So it goes. My father doesn't want to fight again. Will one of you help me return the horses to my men? Well, Arthur. Oh, 
Arthur needs to rest. I will. I like you, son. And after the horses, are we gonna wait for the army to come and wreak Why its he revenge? Say it like that? I hope not. Of course we ain't. Now let's go check out that fort of theirs. Is this Stop a good idea? Riling up this is young man. The only idea, and it is one that will suit both of our purposes. Fighting the army ain't wise. Stop worrying. Oh, and Sadie told me about Cone. Meet us at Doyle's Tavern in San Denis when you can. Shall we go, son? Certainly. We'll start some light reconnaissance out at Fort Wallace, and when Combs dealt with, you come meet us there. We'll set up a good spot for you. I don't know, Dutch. Yeah, well, I do. This is exactly the distraction that we need. Your father said that fighting was an impossible gamble. There's no winning for you in this. Your father need not know anything. He'd rather live in ignorance. Come along, gentlemen. Your father would rather you did not do anything so foolish. I said I would stop this from happening. Oh. Would you talk to him? Speak with Rangeful. Yes. Would you? Sure. Oh. I'll yeah. speak with him. If you head on back to camp, think, check out I the think he's gonna... How are we gonna help? I understand. Thank you, Arthur. Dutch, Dutch, Dutch. Alright, what's actually on? So Mike is still waiting for the explosives. Um, okay, that one's popped back up again. Sadie. Goodbye, dear friend. What the fuck does that mean? And then Rain's Fall is over here. Alright guys, I think I'll have to leave it there unfortunately for this episode. We didn't get a lot done because of that. We had such a slow start. I literally filmed for about 40 minutes before doing any main mission, <laughs> which is pretty bad. Um, but I hope it wasn't too boring. That kind of glitch kind of did slow us down a little bit, but um, still had a lot of fun. Don't really get how everything is going to come together. Obviously this is going to be a disaster. Um, I'm guessing the Sadie mission kind of ends that Comb Driscoll storyline because it's called Goodbye Dear Friend or something. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It feels like everything is coming to a boiling point. Like things cannot keep going on the way that they have been, which is kind of scary. Um, but I don't know. We'll have to see. I might start doing... I might try to do two episodes next week um, just to kind of get us through it a little bit. It's sort of hard to wait between these like big events to wait a whole other week to film. Um, so maybe I'll film another one if I have time on the weekend and kind of, I don't know. I don't, not that I want to end the game, but it's getting so close to the end now that I want to see it, you know, I want to, I want to know how, how it's all going to end and what's going to happen to everybody. I'm very curious. Um, anyway. That'll be all for today. If you guys like this video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!